Wow. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. Your daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Especially because tonight we're sleeping at the beach club. Oh my gosh, for the first time ever. <laughs> So our room is not ready yet. We're gonna go to the pool. But first we're gonna check out the solarium. Looks like it's back to its former glory. I wonder if it makes me want to just open again. Yeah, maybe. This lighting is beautiful. Well, I'm gonna come here in the morning and work. Yeah. It's back. We're about to go in the greatest pool in all of Disney World. And we've only been in this pool once. Uh, it's not the greatest pool. Because the wilderness lodge. Yeah. Well, we've only been in this pool once, so we have to debate. We got these cool bands. Yacht and beach guests are allowed to come to the pool, but you have to scan your magic band. They give you one of these cooler spans that lasts all day, so you don't have to keep scanning your magic band. So it's like the original exclusive pool at Disney, but it's because it's got sand on the bottom, and it's awesome. Just look at this beauty. We're letting the sunblock set in. We got some chips. Room's not ready yet, but the plan is literally to do nothing all day. Well, actually, our plan is to do this all day. Just yeah. go be in the pool. It's right Enjoy before the noon. Room. Grab dinner. Even if the room gets ready right now, we're going to be in here for at least like an hour or two. Then we'll go up to the room, hang out, come back down to the pool again. This is the, like, makeup for our wilderness life. Yes. <laughs> I mean, we just used our own points and we right. did it ourselves. But this is kind of like our kickoff of, like, Celebration, baby coming. Baby's coming real like, quick. This is it. Okay, I did not know that there is an, a, a, there's a lazy river in this pool. We just spent the last hour almost. Yeah. It's 1240. It's like under the waterfall. And all of a sudden I was like, oh, there's droplets everywhere. Yeah, it's rain. I had to cover some of our stuff over there. The sun shower. But look, it's kind of, so I think our emotional connection to Wilderness Lodge makes Wilderness Lodge pool better. But I think from like a purely like construction manufacturing offerings, this is a better pool. Digging my toes into sand that's like four inches deep on the bottom of this pool. Like, there's no other pool like this. I didn't, this is like next to the water park. Right, because like when we were in Air Huts, we were in the low, shallow, sand and then went over to the pirate slide and that goes into this pool but in between is a massive lazy river that goes eight feet yeah it's really deep. i dropped there was a sign from sebastian that said no, I think it was oh, there was a flounder sign that said be careful it drops off at six feet and i just walk off and i just boom <laughs> just, just, and sarah just said cracking up also there's this cool like in the middle of the pool rock fixture so there's stairs up to this to make it more shallow and then a really cool hidden hot tub. So cool. And at the same time, it's kind of like that Floridian. Do you love it? I do. So good uh, handstand. Yeah, but I don't think we could, but maybe I'll try to get it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> do you like to flip? I think so. I think you need to do water aerobics under <laughs> upside down. <laughs> I were temporarily, we didn't realize how massive and how many little coves this pool has, but we also didn't realize that there's like these stairs to like an upstairs potential like lounging chairs. Yeah, we might have to switch us. Yeah, I might have to get us a lot of smoothies too. Ooh. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Sarah hasn't been doing like upstairs. She's been going downstairs because an elevator's up. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I think it's closed. There is a sign that says, please do not move chairs. Oh, it's open. Oh, there's a pool table up here? Hold on. Who would have thought after all these years of us living here and coming here, we had no idea this existed up here. There's tables, there's a pool table. We literally have all of our bags with us because our room's not ready. We got snacks and whole foods. Should we get, should I go get all that yeah. stuff and bring it up to you? Yeah. And then I can go get drinks? Yeah. We have our little dipping station over here, some tortilla chips and ranch dip, and crackers. I'm gonna do the whole cream cheese and um, 
sun-dried tomatoes. I admit, it's kind of throwing off the fall vibes that we've been having for some time. Here he comes. Did you finish eating all the snacks? No, you were gone a long time. I was gone like 30 minutes, right? Yeah. It was a long line. It was worth it. Lava smoothie. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, yeah, pina colada. Yeah. All right, it's two o'clock. We finished snacking. We have a room number on our app, but we never got a push notification stating it was ready. But we think, I don't think they give you a room number until it's ready. But we think we got upgraded to a one bedroom. Yeah, on the third floor. So that'll be nice for balcony time. Yes. So we finish this, we're gonna go back in the pool. Yeah, before we, we our goal is to hit to be at uh, Ale and Compass right at five when it opens because yeah. we don't have a reservation. So right now Ale and Compass is only open for breakfast and for dinner. So there's like a pretty big gap in between that's not open. Um, but then we want to go home and hang out with Eve for a little bit. So we want to eat before we do that. Yeah, so pool time until maybe 3.34 ish. See if our rooms already hang out there before we were like at Rose and Crown. Oh, Rose and Crown at Elm Compass <laughs> right at five. Sounds like a pretty great day. Lazy River? Yes. <laughs> Did I sneak up on you? Yeah. We're in the midst of, um, we're in a break from Disney trivia, ac children's activities, and Sarah proudly embarrassed herself in front of the whole pool. Listen, if, if people didn't know it, then I would shout the answer. And there was just one really, not embarrassing, but it was like literally. No, you should be proud. You know the song, I think it's pronounced like Le Festine from Ratatouille. The beginning is Colette like just like singing. And I know that. And so she's like, the there pool was, person was like, how did you know that? It played for like three bars, <laughs> not like, even. I like this song. And she screamed out the movie it was from. And like there was barely noises coming out of the speaker. <laughs> and the whole pool, like everybody just like turned and looked at Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's like, I like that movie. <laughs> so we didn't realize, but the villas are in a separate building. And you actually have to leave the main building and walk through the other building. Yeah. I never realized that. I never knew. We're going to give you a tour later of the lobby. We've never been in this beach club building. Think of like the Wilderness Lodge DVC building. It's comparable to that but beach club and this room we got upgraded to one bedroom so thank you dvc but this room is amazing it's weird not having sliding doors it is but i walked in i was like uh oh what does this mean because <laughs> we're right over the courtyard but that must mean oh it's similar like look at this there's a menu here sarah you can get what is is this dining. oh it's in room dining we can get lobster roll delivered to our room look at this Oh my. For the lights. <gasps> and nice and beautiful king bed. A little desk that I can I have, I have meetings. Big, I have meetings in the morning. This is a big room. And a balcony. Thank goodness. Oh my. This is wonderful. Right, we get a view of the aerial statue. Oh yeah, we do right there. Look what I found, it's my girl. Want the ultimate photo pass experience? Yes, I do, Stacy. Yes. Oh, we're gonna do a quick little tour before we go. A quick little tour before we go and try to get an Allen Compass reservation. Gotta start with these awesome doors. Kind of frozen like. Walk on in. There's Sarah. Look at this awesome mirror. They don't have these in every resort. You can definitely see some like um, convention style aspects of the hotel. So we got our little table here with bench, pull out couch. This is the weirdest aspect to us. We both agreed that there's no sliding doors in this living room, which is like doesn't feel like a DVC. Right. And then this one bedroom beach club only sleeps four. So there's no pull down, there's no chair, it's just two and two. 
but big old TV, awesome kitchen. I love these these little details. Like that right there is gorgeous. Washer and dryer in here. Gorgeous bathroom, shower. And then the ensuite for the one bedroom has the huge bathtub, which I don't know when these were renovated, but you can tell they were reno renovated in the near past. Quiet Stacy for a moment. Then you got some storage, bed. Um, weird that there's not like Disney influenced artwork, but it still goes. I want to bring this chair home with us. Little different, just with the little details. But I love it. Now should we go downstairs and check out that lobby? So here's the lobby. This is called the Breezeway. Hocus Pocus is the movie tonight. Like, excuse me? Excuse me. And right out the doors, there's a quiet pool. There's also this massive seating area. I love this rug. <sighs> That's a pretty fun little painting. All the knickknacks and tchotchkes. And then the drawing room. It's like a big TV. Pool table. Oh my word. That's awesome. Major meet me in St. Louis vibes. We've seen this from afar a million times. That makes sense. That's the building. And our room is... That balcony right there is our room. All right, here it is. It all comes with no reservation. We've been here, what, three times? We went to the lounge. Not kind of the lounge. The lounge, three. The restaurant, three. But we've never been just you and me to the yeah. restaurant. We love it. Welcome to our family time. In that movie. I love this restaurant. I want my whole house to look like this. What is that? What is that? What is that? Is that the Popeye? Is that the Popeye? <laughs> I think so. I have no idea what I want to eat. We got two starters. This is the lobster corn chowder. And these are the Parker House. Parker House? Parker House. Parker House rolls with different spreads. Bacon, jam, club cheese, citrus butter. Wow. Cool. All right, Sarah and I were opposites. This was one, two, three for me. Sarah was one, two, three. But Sarah loves pub cheese, and I love citrus stuff, so that makes sense. And you were a big fan of the, the, the soup? soup, right? So good. Well, look at this hot pie. Will you just lift My that up? My friend Robert is the reason why I'm getting this. I didn't realize it was cooked like that. That is, ooh, that looks divine. That's like a big version of Fisherman's Pie. Yes. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. And then truffle fries. Truffle fries. Comes with some sort of aioli. shallot mayo aioli. And then some ooh. pasta. Well, Sorry, but you didn't get to see Eve. We're back at the beach club already. Hours later. Oh, only about two hours later. Yeah. We played with Evie. I did some last minute freelance work, which worked out with us going home. Um, we won't be able to make it to Stormalong Bay because it closes in 30 minutes. But there is a quiet pool open until I think 11. I guess if we like never. rushed, we could, but. Yeah, if we like literally ran. Yeah, we're we still could be so there. full from dinner. And I don't want to like run there just to be in there for 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. I'd rather go back to our room, enjoy it, get changed, and then go to our quiet pool. Yeah. So. That's the plan. That's the, the plan. I didn't know if, what, if this was real or not, but I flipped on this 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 channel that was called DVC in Spanish, but they had a disclaimer from 6 to 10. They repeatedly play Happy Ever After previously recorded. Look at, Look at all those people. We're probably there. Here's the quiet pool. There's a nice little hut. It's also a bed. See it? We have an hour. Jump in. Yeah. They capture the little voice. 
We'll meet our favorite girl. So we do our sign off, but she's gonna be with us in the background. <laughs> um, today was like four days in one, in the yeah, best way. Such a good day. Yeah. Such a nice. I just had to set an alarm, a wake up call, not to go to the theme parks, but this will be a first. I just set a wake up call to to start my work day because I'm gonna start yeah. my work day from here right. before it's we check out. Monday. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll leave. Obviously, we'll leave before checkout. And I think I have two meetings in the morning, and I the less the latter one will end thirty minutes before checkout. So then we'll we'll hit the road. I'll and put myself lunch. on like uh, lunch, and then we'll drive home to be with Eve and, and finish the workday. Yep, it is good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.